Look how fast can you install ShadCN UI library. I have already my Next.js running, so only thing I need to do is to go on the get started. I go to the installation and Next.js and I run this npx ShadCN UI latest initialization inside my Next.js directory. I choose my style as default and my color can be in stone. And I'm going to use CSS variables for colors. And now, voila, it's installed. So what it did in the code is we can see it here. So it added the components file. It changed, of course, our dependencies in the package.json file. And it completely changed our tailwind file, global CSS, and it added the utils, the CN. That's the Tailwind merge package, which is used so we can put our custom Tailwind classes inside our ShadCN components. And now we can start injecting our components from the ShadCN documentation. So we can choose here whatever component we want. I'm going to pick the button and we just run that command inside our Next.js command line. And our button is installed. So if we go to the code, we see that the button is added inside the components UI folder. And we can go now to our page and delete all these default things by Next.js. And now we can just put our button, which we have here in the components UI button directory, and we use it. We can just say button like this. And when we check how is it looking here, and refresh, here it is, the ShadCN button. And now you can go to the components list and you can pick any component you want and just put it inside your project. And that's the best thing about ShadCN. You are going to have this code of this button inside your project. It's not imported from some external package. It's literally your component. And next cool thing about ShadCN is the blocks page and here they have a new feature lift mode. If you haven't seen that one, I really recommend it and you can check it in the video above. If you liked this implementation video, subscribe to this channel.